Well, it's as we head into the 2018 harvest season for corn and soybean out here in Iowa, this escalation of the trade conflict really couldn't come at a worse time. So it is impacting our markets and that's impacting our farmers. So uh, our farmers understand that there are issues that need to be resolved, particularly with China. Uh, but there is no doubt uh, that the retaliatory tariffs are impacting our marketplace and that's impacting our producers negatively. Maybe I shouldn't have framed it as an or. Are they still going to vote Republicans <laughs> in the mid Republican in the midterm and support President Trump? Well, I mean, there's there's a lot that goes into that. I think uh, issues that ultimately impact uh, the economics of Iowa and impact farmers pocketbooks will impact the politics. But it's not as simple as just this one issue. Uh, farmers are encouraged by the tax reform. They're encouraged by progress on uh, regulatory relief. And so there's, there's more to it than just the trade picture. But it is an important issue that uh, absolutely will impact their pocketbooks. Uh, Libby, when we consider the reaction by markets today to the latest sort of escalation, clearly it was a positive response by markets. What do you put that down to? Was this escalation less than, than pe what people were expecting? Yeah, well, look, I mean, I think people were likely expecting the 25% rate, and so the fact that they got the 10% rate. We were talking about earlier, though, I mean, I was personally a little bit befuddled by the reaction because, you know, not only are these, are the, is the president going to go through with the, the tariffs, but he alluded to future tariffs. Um, tariffs on all Chinese goods. Uh, and so that would be, you know, invariably would hit the consumer, uh, invariably would hit growth, um, and would likely be, you know, negative for markets. And I guess one of the things that I think investors have struggled with is there doesn't seem to be a process that they're kind of looking at and trying to benchmark against expectations and what's the next right. point of negotiation. Um, is that going to develop here? We're talking about some meetings later this month. Yeah, I think that, I mean, look, there were some um, meetings that were tentatively scheduled for the end of the month. Uh, it's unclear whether the Chinese are willing to go through with those at this point. Um, there is a potential off-ramp and the G20 summit, the leader summit at the end of November. And I think that um, if the optimists are going to look at that to say that that could be a potential off-ramp. I think we're a little bit more skeptical of that. Um, and the reason is, is that because what the administration is asking from the Chinese are significant concessions uh, to their, basically their China 2025 industrial growth model. And if it were just a question of buying more LNG or buying more soybeans, I think the China, Chinese would be ready to deal. But we are asking them to make pretty big concessions, and I just don't think they're there, at least at this point. Secretary Nig, how big of a market is China? For your community? Well, for, for China, the, the, the top issue that we talk about is soybean production here. And so uh, roughly one third of our soybeans go to, uh, to China. So it's a, it's a significant impact on that, that soybean market. Well, and it, Mike, uh, are you encouraged, though, uh, sorry, Secretary Neg, are you encouraged, though, to see some of the progress that has been made with the likes of Mexico? If something similar happened with Canada, do you think uh, you and your constituents would be? encouraged and would that offset the kind of negative uh, rhetoric and escalating trade tariffs with China? Absolutely. And there's, there's definitely uh, uh, folks appreciate the fact that we seem to be making some progress here with NAFTA. Uh, we really do need in Iowa, Canada and Mexico are our number one and number two uh, trading partners. And so uh, securing a, a NAFTA 2.0 would be a significant uh, uh, step in the right direction for Iowa. And then if we can carry that momentum into China, but also beyond that and, and re-engaging with some countries and expanding markets in the, that were involved in the TPP agreement, uh, Japan, Vietnam, South Korea, those would all be positive things too. So uh, our farmers are looking for the administration to really play offense on trade as well.